Hi, Lace from Thailand here, and today's video is going to be about this. The STV visa, the special tourist visa. Yes, it's been reintroduced for another year. So I'm going to go through the benefits and the not so good benefits with regard to the special tourist visa. So I hope you enjoyed the video that I've just showed. It's very difficult to show all the beautiful parts of Thailand in a little two minute video. So my name's Les and my wife's name Ploy and I'm here to help those people who want to come to live in Thailand or experience Thailand. I'm a wealth of knowledge because I've lived in Thailand now for almost 10 years so I know a little bit about living here and the process and different methods of actually getting here with visas and one thing and another. So anybody want any advice send me an email on this link below and I'll help you the best way that I can. I've helped a few people settle here looking for houses and looking for ways to live here and travel around Thailand and visa advice etc etc so I'm a wealth of knowledge so if you want to use my knowledge I'm more than welcome to give you any advice that I can give you and if I haven't got the answers I'll point you in the direction to the people who do have the answers so what's the requirements for the special tourist visas well there's a few of them again there's hoops to jump through here as it is with Thailand, no matter what visa you want to apply for, there's various hoops that you've got to jump through. But for the up-to-date information, I would Google the special tourist visas and they will give you the week-to-week -week change of the rules. For instance, at the minute, the information says that you have to do a 14-day quarantine period. And now I know for a fact within a few weeks or so that will be reduced down to 10 or 7 and eventually it's going to be that there's no quarantine period so the information that i can give you it might be correct today but tomorrow it might be wrong so i would say go look at the special tourist visa application and contact the embassy and they'll tell you exactly what is required at the time of application because it changes week by week so again the applicant has to be from a low risk category country to apply for a, a special tourist visa you've got to accept the compliance of all the measures put in place with regard to the spread of covid you have to provide evidence of where you're going to stay like the hotel receipt with regard to the payments that you paid to the asq hotel proof of medical insurance and how does it compare with various other costs for obtaining a visa? Now the STV, Special Tourist Visa, isn't for everybody. So you can stay a maximum of nine months with regard to the Special Tourist Visa. It's 90 days plus 90 days plus 90 days, or 270 days. But the disadvantage of the Special Tourist Visa, after nine months, you have to leave the country. You cannot change it to another visa. You cannot extend it, you have to leave the country at the end of the period. The people at present on a special tourist visa, because of the COVID situation, have been getting extensions, either 30 or 60 day extensions, added on top of the special tourist visa. Now this isn't going to go on forever, so for those people who are applying for a special tourist visa, just regard it as a, a nine month visa. So it will give you the taste of actually living in Thailand and then go home, make all the arrangements if you want and then look further into actually staying here on a retirement visa when you come back to Thailand. So there's a ways and means around it. But for me, the special tourist visa is for all ages. It isn't for a, a special age group. From any age group, you can actually apply for the special tourist visa. And now that's where I think is a really good part about it because you're not limited to a retirement visa, et cetera, et cetera. So it gives you the taste of staying in Thailand on a special tourist visa. So the fees for this special tourist visa, for the initial application, it's 2,000 baht to get your first 90 day. And then every 90 day after that is 1,900. So for each application after the initial application, it's about 1,900 baht renewable three times. But at the end of the third period, you do have to leave the country at the end of that. So bear in mind that you will have to leave Thailand. You cannot change it any other way. But for those people who don't like doing the paperwork, there are agents and companies that will actually do all the paperwork for you, hassle free. But again, that comes at the cost. Now I'm gonna put a link below, and it's a, a company that will do all the paperwork for you. 
for 10,000 baht and that's the Thailand Long Stay Company. So it's 10,000 baht plus the 7% VAT. So the 10,000 baht is just for the paperwork only, about 10,000 plus the VAT at 7%. So that's just for the paperwork only. That doesn't include your flight ticket or your hotel accommodation. And there's still a 2,000 baht fee to pay for the visa once it's issued to you. Again, they take care of all the insurance paperwork, all of the paperwork going for the application process itself. 10,000 baht maybe isn't a lot of money taken into account that you may be able to stay here for the nine months. So, so 10,000 baht divided by the nine months just a little over a thousand baht a month not a lot to pay I don't think and they will do all the paperwork now I know by majority of people who write to me with regard to the visas it's a problem with the paperwork that they feel as if it's difficult to do well if you've got the time when you live over here in Thailand you've got plenty of time to do it anyway so I don't think it's very arduous or very hard to do it, it is time consuming I've got to agree with that and it can be time consuming but once you've got it off to an art form then it's easy to do. So, for those people who want to visit Thailand on a special tourist visa, Google it, look at the information that they require, make a few phone calls and come and live in Thailand. I'll give it a try for nine months. I will always recommend Thailand. I've lived here for 10 years now and I love every minute of living here. And yes, as with every country, there are hoops to jump through. So Thailand for me is worth the hoops jumping through. So if I hope for those people that want to come in Thailand and sample Thailand, the special tourist visa is a good way of visiting Thailand for nine months. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Until the next video, bye for now.